guys. Now today I'm going to be teaching you uh, how you can do the disc coin, cup coin magic trick. Uh, when I performed it the second time, I have used a push pin, but uh, you can use any small object that will fit inside the cup you're using. So there are no gimmicks, uh, there's not a hole in this cup or something like that. Um, all it is is a bit of uh, making you look somewhere so that uh, I can distract you and then drop something somewhere. <laughs> so basically, here's how it goes. Um, you're going to start off by uh, saying what I said. No, nothing suspicious. Um, just going to put the cup over it. And now you're going to make sure this is very hard, but you're going to make sure that you press the, cor the cup, the paper over the cup, so that um, you can actually see the outline of the cup. Okay, you don't want it to just be loose like this, um, otherwise the next part won't work. Um, Alright, so once you've got that over, you're now going to take it off and say what I told you, um, how now you think that the push pin is gone, but um, now what you're going to do is you're going to hold it off so that you are showing them this. Now at this moment you're going to pick this up and you're going to show them once again and while you're doing that, with this you're going to release pressure and the cup is going to drop into your lap, just like this. Now make sure um, it doesn't fall on the ground, so I've actually got a bean bag here. Uh, here you can hear it, um, so if you're going to be filming this or something like that, just make sure that if you drop it into your lap, if it rolls onto the floor, it uh, won't smash and break. Or you can just lift your knees up slightly so that it stays on your lap. Um, so you're going to show them like this, and then at that moment make sure it's slightly down, just like this. And then you're going to drop it into your lap, and now you're going to come over like this. And as you can see, the outline of the cup is still there, so it looks like the cup is there. And now you're going to say you're going to give it a little tap and then you push. Make sure it's not now facing up like I accidentally did, otherwise it might not go into your hand. So uh, thanks for watching this. Um, if I've helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, uh, add it to your favourites. Uh, just post a comment below. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next Magic Tutorial.